Maurice and welcome to the kitchen. We're in my kitchen in Dallas and I'm going to show you how to make a really easy lemon cheesecake. I'm going to put some strawberries on top. It's no bake. I saw it in a magazine. I spruced it up a little bit but it's like I said really easy so let me show you how to do it. The ingredients you'll need to make the lemon cheesecake You'll need a graham cracker pie crust. I just got a store bought one. You can make your own if you'd like to. You'll need eight ounces of original cream cheese, not reduced fat. You'll need lemon curd, which I, ma I made my own in another recipe. You can find the recipe, another video. You'll need strawberries or any kind of fruit, kiwi, oranges, whatever you like that goes well with lemon to put on the top. And I'm going to put whipping cream on the top. So you'll need heavy whipping cream and some powdered sugar to sweeten it. The equipment you need is really quite easy. You'll just need your mixer with the whipping attachment. You will need it for both the pie and your whipped cream. You'll need a spatula or a spoon to put the cream cheese mixture into your pie crust. You'll need a fourth a cup measuring cup and you'll need a knife to cut your fruit. To start the cheesecake you'll take your eight ounces of cream cheese and put it in your mixer. Make sure your bowl's on there. And then you're going to take 11 ounces of lemon curd, which I have measured out since I made my own. You can buy it in the grocery store, sometimes in the British section, section if you can't find it in where the jellies are. So just put your lemon curd in there along with your cream cheese. And this is all you will need for the pie filling. So you're going to start whipping this and it should double in size and you're going, that should probably take about three minutes. Okay, I have whipped my cream cheese mixture. You can see it right here. Just going to get it off here. Once you've got it all mixed together. And you do want to make sure your ingredients are cold. I'm just going to take it and pour it into my pie crust here. Smooth it out. This is why I like to use a spatula. And there goes Laney. And now I'm going to put the top on it and I'm going to stick it in the freezer for 10 minutes and then I will get it out and stick it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to serve it. My pie is in the refrigerator getting nice and cold, so I'm going to whip my whipped cream. I'm probably going to do about a cup of my heavy whipping cream and about a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar to sweeten it. Whipped cream is one of those things that you can really choose how much you want to sweeten it. yourself. Um, if you like it really sweet or if you want it not so sweet and more creamy tasting, you can add a little bit and then test it yourself to see if you want to add some more powdered sugar. So I'm going to put mine on high and let it beat probably for a minute or two until it's nice and whipped. My 
powdered sugar. Beat for about a minute. It's nice and stiff as you can see. And it's plenty sweet. So I will set this aside. You can set it in the refrigerator. You want to use it pretty quickly after you whip it because it can kind of come back and be a little bit milky. So now that I've whipped my cream, I've got my washed strawberries here and I'm going to slice them and put them on the top. So just slice a couple of strawberries depending on if you want to cover the whole top or if you just want to put a few pieces on each piece that you serve. I've got my pie out of the refrigerator and you can serve this a few ways. You can slice it and then on each piece put your pie piece and then put a dollop of whipped cream on the side with a couple of strawberries maybe on the side or the top or on your pie you could cover the whole thing with whipped cream and then decorate the top with the strawberries or I am going to choose to put some whipped cream right in the center. I'm just going to put a big scoop. And then I'm going to take my strawberries and just kind of decorate with my strawberries. pie and then have a few reserved on the side for putting on everyone's pie piece or if they would like some more whipped cream. So I hope you enjoyed this very simple easy pie.